Hi, this is Paul from wave5trade.com. Today is Monday the 5th of March and this is another example of setting up one of our signals from the Stocks Trading Membership Service. So our members um, on the homepage here get a video each day just as an example from one of the many um, signals that we get each day. In the members area they can get both long and short trades on the weekly daily and 60 minute time frame simply just by clicking on the image for each day and downloading the spreadsheet. So let's have a quick look at the spreadsheet for today. So this is the daily time frame. We have weekly and 60 minute for shorts um, but today I've chosen the daily time frame on the short trades for a potential short on PE, Parsley Engineering Inc. So let's have a look at the chart and set it up. So this is the daily chart for PE and I'm using the Wave 5 Trade Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Ninja Trader platform but we do have it for Thinkorswim, TradeStation and Multicharts as well. So let's first off go what the filters are on the um, scanner results for the mem membership. So we have the 535 oscillator down here just pulled between 90 and 140 percent and that's what we're looking for that initial filter on the membership service for the signals there. We also have the stochastic crossing over in the overbought zone here for potential short and we've got our fourth wave finding resistance here because it's a short in our pullback zones. This is our probability pullback zones. Uh, the red zone here is a 75% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave low into our automated target zones down here around about 1950. For those members that already have this, this is very, very simple to set up. You need to look for the high here on the, the 9th uh, of uh, January, isolate the wave count up here at these highs, and we simply then the software automatically puts in the Elliott wave. So we've got a one, a two, a three. The wave four pullback's been quite deep, but it did find good resistance here. We had this indecision doji where the wave four is, and then the following day, we had a bearish engulfing and then a move down. Friday's bar did reach new lows, but then towards the end of the session, we had a bit of a bounce and this is where this has come from here. So these setups are all way in advance. Um, you've got to understand that if the markets turn bullish today and this goes up, this trade won't be on. But if the markets continue bearish and the momentum continues in the main bearish trend for this stock, then we're looking for a trigger to go short. So we've got to go reasonably conservative here with an entry. So what I've chosen is um, our standard entry is below the 6.4 moving average low for a short, which is this red moving average high um, line here. So 23.94, so it's below the whole $24 price as well. Below some of these highs on these resistance levels as well here. So nice and conservative entry. Stop loss is just above the wave four high here. The wave four high, was 26.67 and we've got this at um, 26.72 the stop loss so we've got a you know about five cents above the high of the wave four we've got a 23.94 entry and our automated target zone is showing around about a 1950 um, middle of that zone there for potential target price so we can see the risk to reward for this trade here as a 1% risk to a potential 1.6% reward so it's a really good risk to reward standard setting up keeping it simple we've got the 535 got the stochastic crossing over the wave force pull back into our automated probability zones now we're just looking for a sensible entry short on PE on the daily time frame. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.